If your life is affected by multiple sclerosis or any other neurological condition, then this channel is for you. So please consider subscribing to be kept up to date with future videos. My name's Liam and in 2018, I was diagnosed with relapsing remitting MS. In this video, I wanna talk about some of the alternatives uh, and things that I do to improve my quality of life when living with con a condition like this. Um, obviously, I, I do take medication and things um, from you know, the doctors and, 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 uh, and my neurologist, but there's other things that I do that I feel adds benefit to my life, and I want to talk to you about those in this video. Hopefully, there'll be a couple of things in this video that you haven't heard before or haven't tried, um, and I'd love to know how you get on with them and give them a go. So drop me a comment if you give any of, this thing, or any of the things in this video a go, and, uh, and, and let me know how you get on. When it comes to things like supplements, we're always uh, encouraged to uh, increase the amount of vitamin D that we intake. So um, I do uh, take around 4,000 international units of vitamin D a day. I think the recommended daily allowance is something like three or 400. So it's a significant increase and that's supposed to help sort of, you know, give me a bit of a boost um, when it comes to the condition that, that we have. Alongside that, I take a vitamin B supplement that's like a multivitamin B, uh, it's like B6, B12. They're supposed to help combat things like fatigue and they're generally pretty good for us. So I just take a generic, uh, a generic vitamin B tablet um, to help kind of boost that um, and, and give me that little lift that I need. But something that I, uh, I do a lot or I do every day that, um, that not a lot of people know about and that's a prebiotic. Now you may have heard of a probiotic and things like Actimel yogurts and stuff like that, but prebiotic is really good for changing the, the balance in your gut. Now through MS, we know that um, it's you know dictated to or it's affected by our immune system. And a lot of the influence to our immune system comes from our gut. And if it's not quite the right balance, then it sends things like fecal matter and, uh, and other horrible things into our system, into our blood. Um, which help, you know, which, which causes things like inflammation, which uh, with, with us with MS or anything else, you know, you're going to get tired legs, you're going to get stiffness, spasticity, um, and, and generally a lot of the symptoms that you experience, um, you know, will be made worse by inflammation. So um, having a good prebiotic um, is, uh, is really useful. If you want to learn more about prebiotics and some of the, um, some of the things that, that, um, that I do, then there should be a link up here somewhere for a, uh, yeah, be this side. There should be a link up here for a podcast that I did with um, a friend of mine called Coach Ben. He's really uh, passionate about helping people, um, you know, sort of prevent disease and as well as manage those things that, you know, the, the cards that they've been dealt. So do check that out. And if you've got any questions uh, either about or for Coach Ben, drop me a comment and I'll get those answered uh, as soon as possible. Something else that's worth considering is researching um, Dr. Terry Walls. Now, um, Dr. Walls, uh, originally she was training as a doctor, doing her rounds in the hospital, and then she was diagnosed with quite an aggressive, um, progressive multiple sclerosis. She ended up in a vertical wheelchair quite quickly. Um, she then researched her diet and looked at the things that she was, um, you know, the food that she was consuming and, and, and things like that and looked into sort of like you more, the diets that we would have had, you know, a long, long time ago when we didn't have access to all the foods all the all year round, you know, we kind of, you were led by the seasons and, um, you know, it wasn't so much grain in your diet, which can cause inflammation. Um, so she's got a book, it's called The Wolf Protocol. Um, her sort of tagline is that she cured her MS. Um, people are skeptical and sometimes a bit put off by the fact that because, it, you know, it's unlikely to cure your MS. However, looking in here about some of the foods that are really good for your MS and importantly as well, those foods that have a negative impact on your MS, it's really worth considering um, having a look through, even if it's just for reference and you change a couple of things in your diet, I think this would really help. Um, I ended up getting this on an audiobook as well because um, uh, after a recent ADHD diagnosis, I've realized that sitting and reading a book uh, can become quite challenging. Uh, so I've been listening to that. And um, before I did that, I also got this one as well um, by a Michael Greger, MD, um, which is called How Not to Die. Um, something we all should know. <laughs> Um, I think it's similar though, it's, it's looking at, yeah, as I say, discover the foods scientifically proven to prevent and reverse disease. That sounds great. I'm still getting stuck into these, so I'll let you know how I get on, but yeah, let me know how you get on in the comments. Something else that I've been researching is mushrooms. Now, I'm not talking about little portobello mushrooms from your local supermarket, nor am I talking about psychedelic mushrooms and going to a different planet. But um, there has been a lot of research recently uh, into how mushrooms um, have different health benefits. We are genetically, surprisingly, very similar to mushrooms in our makeup, and different mushrooms have different health benefits. I originally stumbled across the idea through a podcast um, by Roxy Mafusi, who um, had the guys from Dirty um, on her show. So that's Dirty. 
um, teas in tea, and they do lots of different sort of teas that, uh, and coffees that have different mushroom sort of bases that are suitable for things like concentration, eliminating brain fog, or there's ones for like energy boost to combat fatigue. Really worth looking into mushrooms and seeing how they can be incorporated into your diet to help alleviate some of those uh, some of those symptoms that, that you get. And uh, yeah, and it can, you know, coffee in the morning, but it's got mushrooms in it. it. Doesn't really taste like mushrooms, so yeah, it's good to go. I also did a video on another channel looking at Wim Hof. Now, when I sort of first was introduced to Wim Hof by Coach Ben, um, I was fascinated by his story and what he does, and I've been following some of his practices for a while now and certainly seen some health benefits. I did do a video on another channel um, that you can check out. Um, but one of the things that I do meticulously now is once I've had a shower and I'm clean and I've had a wash in a nice warm shower, I knock the uh, temperature down to the coldest it will go and I have a cold shower afterwards to sort of rinse myself off and try and stay under that shower for as long as possible. It's proven that cold showers does something to your immune system, it does something to the cells in your body that can give you energy, can give you a boost. And, uh, and, and Wim Hof's uh, sort of mantra is a cold shower a day keeps the doctor away. Um, it's not easy for everyone to start doing, but if you look into sort of Wim Hof and his practices, he can tell you how to sort of gradually build it up, you know, gradually bringing it down to cold for a small amount of time and then doing it quicker and longer. Um, but yeah, I would seriously recommend cold showers. Um, I can't recommend them enough. It has, I would say it's, it's really has had a really significant impact, a positive impact on my life. So yeah, give that a go as well, because you will feel the benefit. Another topic that I'd like to kind of get into is cannabis. Now, cannabis is something that is talked about a lot when it comes to MS. There are a lot of people that have, um, that have stated that cannabis has helped um, with their condition. Uh, we are seeing gradually some rules relax when it comes to um, you know, obviously you can get CBD everywhere, which, which is great for you. Um, but also there are things like sativa or is that sugar? I can't remember. You'll have to let me know. Um, but yeah, there is sort of some progress uh, with that. And I, I'll hold my hands up. I, I smoke cannabis now um, every evening. So I go about my day as I normally do, put my kids to bed, I have something to eat and then um, I will smoke uh, cannabis. And I find that that mix, that ratio of CBD and THC has a, has a huge positive impact um, on my on my life basically it allows me to sort of semi switch off from my ms and just relax it helps my legs and the pain um, obviously that's not something that everyone has access to um, and i wouldn't necessarily start del delving into uh, the world of, uh, of, of classified drugs but again worth looking into another audiobook that i listened to um, about cannabis um, i'll put a link in the comments too because i forget the name in fact, no, I can check it now. Let me have a look. There's another, there another audio book that I've listened to, um, which is just called Cannabis. Um, and that is, yeah, Cannabis, Seeing Through the Smoke. And that's by Professor David Nutt. Now, he was a, an advisor to the British government um, when it came to drugs and classification and things like that. He then did a lot of research into cannabis and started to talk about it in quite a positive way and was immediately sacked, <laughs> which goes to show, you know, he, he sort of alludes to... Um, the, uh, what would you call it when it came to like alcohol? Uh, prohibition, yeah, the, the prohibition of cannabis and drugs. Um, and in the studies that they've, they've shown, uh, cannabis is always like right at the bottom of the list when it comes to the sort of the, the downsides and, and high up on the list for a lot of the positives. So again, worth doing research. I would really recommend um, that book as well though, because it does answer a lot of questions and, and broaden the mind when it comes to things like cannabis, if you have been sort of curious about it, but hesitant, I, I, would, uh, I would check that out. Something else recently someone mentioned to me is that red wine is really good for things like spasticity and, and pain in your legs. Um, so I'm not saying, you know, it's not an apple a day, it's a glass of red wine a day, but if you like red wine, maybe give it a try and see how it uh, impacts you. But finally, I wanna talk about routine. So for us, um, you know, with MS, if our fatigue spikes, if we get into a bit of a downward spiral, it can be really difficult to get on with day-to-day -day activities. So I find having some routines in place really does make an impact because when you are struggling, sort of you can kind of go on a bit of autopilot and get some more of the things done that you perhaps would struggle with. Um, so try and establish some routine into your body. If you're you know, coming here for as many audio book references or book references as you can, um, there are a couple, there's Atomic Habits and Tiny Habits, which really do help you to kind of establish a routine and get into good habits. So I would check those out. Hope you found this video useful. Um, if you want to see more content like, content like this, then don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. And yeah, drop me a comment. I love talking to you guys. It's great to hear your stories and your advice. So let me know how you get on if you've uh, tried any of the suggestions that I've given. Also, if there's anything I haven't suggested um, that you found has been useful in your life, drop that in the comments as well because I'd be, you know, I'd love to learn about it and, and give that a try. And I'm sure anyone else watching the video would as well. So yeah, let me know how you get on. But thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one.